Hi there, Linda Goodall here with another little hatch scratching. Let's talk about applique. Applique is one of my favorite techniques and I really like it because it adds so much more dimension and texture and color to a design that sometimes thread just can't do. And it's really super easy in hatch. This is part one of a two-part series. I split them up to keep them shorter, but also if you already know how to do applique, you can just skip this part and go to the next one. If you're new to applique, Watch this one because I'm going to show you a few things that I do differently than the defaults. So let's hop over to a new window and make an applique. I'm just going to use the digitize applique on the applique toolbar. This is the auto applique tool. And I'm just going to right click around and make a circle, hit enter, and there is my applique. How fast was that? So all the parts we need for our applique are bundled into this unit. And you can see that it has sort of an interesting icon here on the resequence bar. To see what it really does, let's go to the stitch player. And you can see that I have three colors here. Right now it's doing a placement line. Now it's doing a tack down. And let's speed it up. Now it's doing the underlay for the cover stitch and the cover stitch. Now I've got mine set to pre-cut, and what that means is it does that placement line. I'm going to lay my fabric down. It's already cut to shape. It's going to fit right within that outline. Then it's going to do the tack down and the cover stitch. The other method is what I call the blob method, and it's in here it's more tactfully known as the trim and place method. And what you're going to do here is when that outline sews, you're going to put down a piece of fabric the outline will sew again, the placement line, and then you'll have to trim off that fabric, then do the tack down. So let's go back to Stitch Player and look at it. You'll see that this time it has four colors. And let's, um, let's slow that down. So if I go back here to color one, see there's that placement line. Then it's going to do that placement line essentially again to attach that blob of fabric to your project. Then you're going to take the hoop out of the machine, trim it, then it'll do the tack down, then it'll do all the cover stitching. And that's how easy it is. Now let's talk about some of these other settings here. What if you want it to look pretty, like it has an applique in there? Well you can pick a fabric. I usually just pick a color. So maybe I want pink. And click OK. Now it shows up I know where my applique is. This is kind of a good thing to do because sometimes you'll start adding details and if it gets out of sequence, you can easily tell if they end up under your applique instead of on top of your applique. I'm going to take it back to pre-cut. I'm going to leave these settings pretty much the same. These, these are pretty much what I like to use. I like a zigzag tack down and I like my width about three millimeters. I generally don't make it thinner than that because it can make it too hard to cover the edge adequately and if it's too narrow it can actually ravel off your fabric on the edge even if you have a fusible web on there. So I like to keep it about three to three and a half. Down here is our tack down and cover offset and that says it's going to be 20% to the inside and 80% to the outside. Now back when I was learning how to digitize I went to a class at a national show for professional digitizers and there was a digitizer there talking about doing applique and she recommended that we have two-thirds of the fabric to the inside I mean two-thirds of the stitching to the inside of the fabric and one-third to the outside and this was for using pre-cuts and the reason for the two-thirds in was it grabbed more fabric and when you grab more fabric you're not right on the edge of the fabric and it's less likely to grab just a few fibers and pull them off. So I think it makes it more sturdy. So I'm going to reset mine to that kind of, we'll do it 65-35. And that, that's close enough. And I, that's what how I like to set mine. So these are some settings I like to use for my applique. This is how you do a very basic applique. And if you just have, if, if this were, let's say, a a patch for a monogram or something. You could just go with this and be done with it. But when you have something a little more complex, 
like our little bat guy where I have overlapping pieces you need to do a few more things to make your design so really really well and that's what we'll talk about in the next video thanks for watching and come back for more